<laughs> Hi, and welcome to Rachel Art with Heart. Hi, hello, and welcome back to Rachel Art with Heart. I am so happy to see you. Today, we are going to be making a leaf bowl. Now this project does take a while, so you have to have some patience. That's right. So you have to have some patience because we're using clay, it takes a while for our clay to dry. We're using air dry clay. So it dries out in the air and it takes a little while to dry. And then once you're finished with the project, you seal it with glue, with white glue. What I mean by seal it is you paint it with white glue. That makes sure it's nice and hard and it lasts for a very, very long time. All right, you guys. So the first thing you need to do is I need you guys to go outside and find some leaves on the ground. Go outside and find some leaves on the ground. Because it's fall, there are probably plenty of leaves on the ground. Some might be really big, some might be small. My advice is to find leaves that have newly fallen off the tree. That way they're a little bit more flexible, not the ones that are really crunchy and break really easily. Okay, so go ahead, pause this video and go outside and find some leaves. You can find one leaf or maybe you can find more. It's totally up to you. All right. All right, now that you've found a leaf, Let's go ahead and get started with our art project. Come on. I am first gonna start with my air dry clay over here. I'm gonna kind of warm it up in my hands. Kind of smush, smush, smush. I'm gonna actually take off rings. Smush, smush, smush. Press it down and flip. Press it down and flip. Kind of keep pressing it down and flipping it like this to get it kind of flat. I have my parchment paper underneath so that my air dry clay doesn't stick to my regular paper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. Flip, roll, roll, roll. We want this to be nice and flat and also pretty big because our leaf is very big. We have found a big leaf. You might have a big leaf or you might have a smaller leaf. My leaf is pretty big, so I wanna make sure I am rolling out so my leaf can fit over it. I need to roll out a lot more. So I'm gonna keep repeating this step over and over, flipping and rolling, just like that. You can go ahead and keep doing the same. Okay, so now I think that's about as big as I'm going to get my clay. I'm gonna get my leaf and carefully set it on top. My leaf is already a bit dried up. This is best to get a leaf that maybe is freshly off the ground, so it's more flexible. I'm gonna try to do this without it cracking or breaking too much. But basically, I'm going to press my leaf down. I want to get a print of my leaf. So I'm going to carefully press my leaf down, pressing it into my air dry clay. You can see some of my leaf is not fitting. That's okay. Some of it will be off a little bit, but I'm carefully pressing down because I want a nice print in my air dry clay. 
while this is down, I'm gonna get my tool that I'm going to be tracing around my leaf. You might have a stick like this. You might be using maybe a plastic knife. Um, maybe you have a, a tool for clay. Any of those work as long as you're being safe. Make sure you ask a parent or um, a grown up friend's permission before you just start using any thing to cut around. Now notice I'm carefully tracing around my leaf, just like that. I can already hear it cracking a little bit, that's okay. So around my leaf, up and around. Okay. So now that I have all my clay pieces from around my leaf, I'm gonna go ahead and carefully peel up my leaf. And look at that, a print of my leaf is there. So I'm just gonna kind of clean up the ends over here. Sometimes when using whatever you're using to cut, it makes all these bunches on the end. So I'm gonna carefully just soften those up a little bit. But how cool is that? Look at my leaf. Look at that print of my leaf. We're gonna grab our watercolors and our water jar with our paintbrush. And you can go ahead and start painting right onto your leaf. Filling up all those colors. Now remember, you are the artist, so you can paint your leaf whatever color you want. I'm probably gonna do a mix of reds and orange. get some darker reds also in there. It's also pretty cool when you're painting on top, you'll notice a lot of where your prints are starts to get a little darker in the creases. There we go. So I feel pretty good about my leaf and the colors I chose. Now I'm going to clear my space. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my bowl with my plastic wrap and I'm going to carefully pick up my leaf. I wanna make sure my bowl is completely covered with that plastic wrap. And I'm going to carefully lay my leaf into my bowl. Carefully kind of press it in down there. Go. So now I'm gonna leave it to dry. That way it forms the shape of the bowl as it's drying. So go ahead and pause this video. It's probably gonna take a full day for your leaf bowl to dry. But once it's dry, you can go ahead and seal it closed with glue. You can do white glue. Just paint it all over on top and paint it all over on the bottom. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today, creating our leaf bowl. Now, I found a really big leaf, so my bowl is really big. You might have a smaller bowl, 
or you might have a bowl the same size or maybe a medium sized bowl. Make sure you put this somewhere safe, okay? Because you don't want it to accidentally break. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe. Thanks so much, you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.